Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. My name is Maggie. I am one of your hosts, and I am joined today by Matthew. Hello. Miss Becky. Hi. And Rainy on the ones and twos. Hello. Today, we have a wonderful episode prep for you guys. We are doing a Am I the Asshole segment. We love doing Am I the Asshole. Some of them are pretty juicy this week, so we are very excited. Mm. Um, but how's everyone doing? Um, I wanted to start out with... Uh, asking what is the last three things that is in your Google search history? Oh, mm. exposed. Mm. exposed. Great question. Exposed. How do you find it? Mm. And we don't have to go through everyone's history. I'm just like top three. So you're going to go to either do you use Safari or Chrome? Chrome. Chrome. Okay, go to your Chrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm already here. Yeah, I'm already here. Oh, history? And <laughs> then you're <laughs> going to tap the three little dots and you're going to hit history. So mine because we were... Googling stuff earlier today. Well, maybe go before. <laughs> the, the before third. that. Yeah. The good ones are, is asparagus good for vegetable stock? <laughs> <laughs> are you concerned just because it's... It, it, <laughs> I feel like, yes. What did you find? Yes. Okay. It okay. is. And actually, they sell like asparagus water. Oh, I've seen that. There was like a whole... And I was like, what? Because, you know, asparagus can kind of be smelly. So I was like, is it good for stock? I don't know. I've never like thought about it before. I don't because all these trimmings, yeah. I always save everything to make stock, you know, once I have enough. What yeah. was the answer? It's yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Delicacy. Delicacy. Yeah. I feel like if broccoli is good for stock, like why can't asparagus be? Because I feel like broccoli gets a little stinky when you cook yeah. it just naturally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's still delicious, but yeah. I, mean, I mean, it smells yeah. funky. The fun fact, you <laughs> yeah. can put asparagus in your veggie stock. You're welcome. Good to know. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Oh, that was all three of yours? Oh, well, no. Well, One was red fun? light therapy. <laughs> red light therapy, which yeah. oh, very on brand for we you, love. Matt. What is very that? Very good for you. Um, it's it's like the broad spectrum light that's red, Uh huh. you know? And they they make different like health, not health care, beauty devices, yeah. I would say. Beauty devices oh. that will deliver the red light to your skin. <laughs> You fancy man. <laughs> so that it will help improve your beauty. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> On my way. This was supposed to help with lots of things, actually. Yeah. It can help with like to make your hair thicker. Oh. Mm -hmm. It helps with wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, inflammation. Oh my gosh. You know, boost your collagen. How did, do you know how it works? Like why does red light do that? It well, this is what I was looking up. Oh. So what did it, you learn? actually the red light helps basically it kind of like helps fuel the mitochondria of your cells and help Whoa. like oh. supercharge Wait, their, not or their, their not repair that. you know oh, so it helps that. them like repair yeah gives them like extra energy to help repair your cells so that's like giving why. a red ball mm -hmm. to the mitochondria yeah yeah the powerhouse of the, the cell. powerhouse of the cell <laughs> yes back from like eighth grade yes <laughs> bio class i love right? that yeah my last google was zillow Okay. Oh. I was looking, looking up, up new houses. No, you moving? I like, Where are you trying to go, Becky? You well, trying to leave us? We were watching. We went to the movies at in Burbank uh -huh. at the AMC mm. 16, which is in this little complex, and there are apartments above, oh, like right across I from the movie theater. Stuff up like this. And so yeah. Keith and I were oh. like, "How much do you think it costs to live across the street from a movie theater?" And so we were looking that up. Um, it didn't load. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the next one, this is a deep cut for some of the parents that sent me the suggestion. I was talking about um, podcasts for kids that oh, I yeah. could play. Mm. And a bunch of people DM'd me and was like, you should look up a Tony's box. And we actually ended up getting Honey a Tony's box for Christmas. What's oh. a Tony's box? So I was looking up how to skip a song on a Tony's box. What's a Tony's box? Um, it's this little like screen free box that kids mm. can put little stories on oh. top of. And they could kind of pick their own. Yeah, put like little um, figurine on top. Little, yeah, you put yeah. the figurine on top and it has the book. So I was Googling how to skip a song because there was a song we were bored of. Mm. <laughs> and then <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo tickets was the last mm. one on Stump Up. Mm. <laughs> Those were my last nice. three. Very really nice. all-encompassing there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was looking up uh, 
eczema related stuff like can I put vanny cream on my eyes because my eczema is so bad this year I don't know oh, what is going on oh no the second thing that I looked I up I wonder if red light therapy would help your eczema maybe <gasps> oh. should I get one of those like I feel like people have those uh, red light the Dr. Ma- Dennis Gross mask yeah mm. apparently mm-hmm. that's supposed to be like really good for acne it's expensive it is expensive yeah, yeah. Expensive. yeah. Um, I was also looking up copper hair just cause <gasps> Maggie, you should definitely copper do copper hair. hair. I would love to do copper hair, but it just takes so, uh, my hair is super porous. Oh. So like it doesn't really hold on to color. Yeah. I've been told. You probably have to like bleach it first. So and I then... bleach it and then I do copper and I've tried doing it like mm. a couple years ago, but mm. it, every, all the color yeah. washes out and then I just become oh. like a crazy, but I would love to. I would I, love it to. would look so good. I want to do a really, really dark copper. Why don't you Ooh. just got a wig? A wig? Yeah. I if I had a nickel for every and like time. one day you could be copper and one day not. <laughs> I feel like you would have to get Ooh. a really good one for it to be yeah. believable. It would yeah. probably cost like the same amount as yeah, it would to, to do, do it. your whole hair process. Hey, but it would never wash out. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good point. You would have it for years to come. Yeah, I feel like if I did copper, you would have to go get it toned. Yeah. Like it, the time would pass too quickly. Yeah. But I would love a lot that. of maintenance. A yeah, lot of maintenance. High yeah. maintenance. High maintenance. And one that you wouldn't think. Just because it's such a dark color, you're not like yeah. doing, but yeah. Yeah. And then the third thing I was looking up, uh, I was looking up salted caramel cookie recipes because I was trying to make pizzukis mm, at that home. Sounds good. And that's the best oh. BJ's flavor. Mm. Wait, what's a pizzuki? <gasps> a pizza cookie. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what a pizzuki is? <laughs> Rainy. I feel what? like that means you have to bring some in now. Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Where are, where are cookies? Yeah, oh my where's God, our pizzukis? This early? You need a pizzuki with me? Yes, you are my absolutely. favorite people. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. You have to put dairy in it though. Oh, well. <laughs> on the ice cream. <laughs> we have to like pick and choose. It has to be one or one, but I get you. <laughs> oh, yum. Now I want a pizzuki really bad. Well, um, you should have made one. I should have. <laughs> I did make one. I made some last heck? night. I made some Whoa. last night. So I'm I'm Whoa. pretty I'm pretty content. What do you cook it? Do you have mini skillets? Do you buy mini skillets? I have like the four, like they're four inches. Yeah. So they're like the perfect they're small. Oh, cute. And mm-hmm. you can make like different you can make a big one too if you want it on just like a eight or ten inch cake pan, technically. Mm-hmm. You could just oh, put it cake, in there. Not and the just... cast iron. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you had like little cast irons. <laughs> oh, that would be cute. Minis. <laughs> I have like li- Mini ones. the little cake molds. Little cake pans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What cute. toppings do you put on it? Ice cream. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream. Ice cream. That's the marinara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's the marinara. The pizzuki. Yes. Yeah. I can't believe you haven't had a pizzuki before. I know. I've never even heard that word. So they sell them at BJ's, but I'm pretty sure you can get them other places too. Oh. It's just very, that's like, their th- one of their things. Okay. Yeah. Oh my what? Yeah. It might be also a regional name for it. Yeah. Did you ever have a skillet cookie? Yeah. That's what yeah. We like called a big it cookie. was a skillet cookie. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. In the Midwest. Yeah. Just skillet cookie because you if cook you a go cookie to in a skillet. BJ's they have samplers too, so you could get like the very small ones with an ice cream coop- scoop on, so you can try which one you like, and then you can get like a full size one when you've decided. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I need to put it in my yum folder on on maps. Yeah. Love. BJ's. BJ's. Yum. BJ's. <laughs> yum. <laughs> yum. Yum, yum. All right, we're going to go into our first Am I the Asshole? What? Ayata. Ayata. Am I the problem? Um, am <laughs> I the asshole for removing my top on a nude beach with my sister and our husbands? It would be great to get some external opinions on this, please. We are on holidays with my female, 26, and my sister, female, 36, her husband, male, 35, and my husband, male, 30. Just near our hotel, there is a nude-friendly beach. Sort of everyone is naked, but it is accepted. And my sister and I kept making jokes for a few days about going there to tan our breasts. We walked by the place on Thursday and decided to order drinks and sit on sunbeds, but we tan didn't. Tan our breasts. I know. I tan <laughs> our breasts. <laughs> we walked by the place on Thursday and decided to order drinks and sit on the sunbeds, but we did not have bathing suits so as it wasn't planned. Uh, our husbands removed their shirts and mine told me, you can finally tan those tits. I thought to myself, yeah, that's true. Why not? So I removed my top and my skirt and lied on the sunbed next to my husband. I was very surprised that my sister did not proceed to do the same given our previous jokes. She kept her clothes and downed her drink very quickly. Later that night, she refused to eat with us and said she can't believe I exposed my breasts and thong to her husband and that I should have been aware that she hates her body and I would have never undressed and would have never undressed in such context. 
I am so lost. I feel like I did nothing wrong, but it's been two full days that we are cold to each other and it just pollutes the trip. And I am not sure what my sister thinks of me now. Our husbands could not care less and are just enjoying the time together. And this is so nice compared to what my, compared to my situation. Ooh, that sounds like a her problem. I have sister to grow up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going firmly not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Breathe the nip. Breathe the nip yeah. nip. Breathe the nip. Yeah. Breathe the nip yeah. nip. Yeah. I mean, your body has nothing to do with somebody else's body. Yeah. Right? So just because you're uncomfortable undressing doesn't mean that someone else should also be uncomfortable undressing. Yeah. yeah. Right? She's like projecting her own feelings onto her, her sister. Her sister. On, and like yeah. her. And she said it. Her Well, she kind of said it to her sister that she's self-conscious of her own body and is kind of transferring that frustration to her sister. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's not healthy. That's not no. healthy. It's just Especially a titty. the husbands don't even care. Yeah. yeah. Just a titty. Yeah. What's a titty between friends? Between 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 friends. Betwixt sisters. Yeah. Right? A titty yeah, between sisters. As long as she hasn't seen it before. Yeah. yeah. Dumb. I guess the like the having her husband be there is interesting. Like would you guys yeah. under like you know what I mean? Like in front of your siblings partner or if you had a if you had a sister especially. Mm-hmm. Or just like a uh, like a girlfriend. I mean, I would. I take my titties out all the time to feed Henny. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I let people who aren't even my family see my titties. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's got to eat. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's like a very puritanical American thing to, yeah. like to feel like that's an issue because yeah. most places it's not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's kind of the other side of the coin. I could see how the husband might feel weird. Mm-hmm. Right. But from what she's saying, he doesn't. Yeah. 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 It seems to me like he has free will, and if he's uncomfortable with it, then just avert your eyes somewhere else and yeah, go about your own vacation. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if the person who is taking off their clothes has nothing, yeah. they have no shame, they should. Yeah. I also feel like a titty's a titty, whatever. How would you feel about a kudaru? <gasps> mm. A kudaru between siblings? Would you take out your kudaru? In front of your sister? Probably not. <laughs> Would you go nude tanning with Katie and her husband? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think I'd take my cootie out. Yeah. But you have a sister, I have a brother. Would you take your cootie out in front of your sisters? Like if you guys were at a beach? Let's I say Zach, nobody's there. I feel like it would be more, like I would feel uncomfortable. So I would mm, probably mm-hmm. keep on. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if someone else wants to take off their whatever like i have free will i can either stare or i could just go about my own business <laughs> stare i could stare or i could not and i feel like i don't yeah just don't be weird yeah live love love yeah mm. people can do what they want yeah yeah i would say if you're going to the nude beach don't get mad at people for being nude yeah 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 it's one thing if it's like a regular beach where you're not supposed to do that mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> that's true but if the nude beach people are nude why are you mad you literally went there yeah yeah her yeah. sister has some self work, I think. Yeah, her sister needs to work on herself. Self work needs to look inward. Mm-hmm. Self-work. It's and weird. Take to... her top off. Yeah, <laughs> be free. Free the nip. Free the nip. You're not the asshole. You're not have the you asshole. Is... Take your titties out. Have you <laughs> been to a nude beach? I have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was the last nude beach that you guys went to? Uh, I, I don't think it was technically, but like in Greece. Oh they, yeah. They were just. I don't mm-hmm. think it was like labeled as like a nude beach, but that's just very common. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think mine was Greece too. Yeah. This episode yeah. is titled Nude Beaches in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, oh, this good. Nude, nude beaches, beaches in Greece. Yeah. 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 Nude beach in Greece. I didn't take my cootie out though. Yeah. I feel like cooties where I draw the line in public, but mm-hmm. that's my own personal. That's my own personal. You can thing. take a cootie out. And I have booty, no thoughts on cootie. your cootie. Yeah. I would like my cootie to stay my own. Booty, yeah. not cootie. Booty. Take that booty out. <laughs> take that booty out. <laughs> Let those cheeks get some sun. I think I'd rather have my boobies out than my whole booty out. <gasps> You'd rather have tatas yeah. than boo boo. Yeah. I'm always like trying to hide my booty. I don't know why, oh. but that's like something within me. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Interesting. Which I feel like the majority of the population are opposite. They're like, you can see my booty. A booty's a booty. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But everyone's got one. Everyone's got their own. Everyone's got their, their own, own things. things. Yeah. Live, laugh, mm-hmm. love. Yeah. I think we'd all be a little more free if we just yeah. popped a toddy out every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs>
People walk around with guns on their hips. Yeah. Okay. In certain states. Okay. Yeah. A nipple is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reading on the <laughs> areola is really not a lot compared to a Glock. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. It is the new year, which means we are all focused on our New Year's resolution list. But instead, this year, I am going to look back on 2023, look at what I'm proud of, and continue expanding that in 2024. So I am very proud of myself for learning a couple new hobbies last year. I know learning things in adulthood can be super daunting. So I'm going to continue working on that in 2024. And it doesn't have to be something so big. It can maybe be that you finally organized a space in your house and you're going to go on to do the next space. We love therapy here at You Can Sit With Us. I love having time dedicated each week to talk to a non-biased opinion and perspective and help me work on coping skills and navigating life. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash sit with us today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. Shall we go on to the next, man? Yes. Who's the next asshole? Okay, let's read the about asshole. the next, <laughs> the next one. Okay. I am a 39-year-old female and work as a nurse in the ER. My mm. husband, 40 male, and I have been married for 16 years and have three children together. I have always completed the majority of Christmas shopping since our oldest child, 14 male, was born. This has been a non-issue in the past as it makes more sense since I know the majority of my children's likes and interests as I do a large amount of the household responsibilities, which is fine. I already know where this I is know. going and I, I don't like, like it. I don't like it, mm -mm. which is fine as my husband is very busy working in the marketing sector. Oh, so he doesn't know what his children like? Yeah. I mean, mm. I, okay, here we go. Let's keep going. <laughs> this holiday season, I have taken an increase in shifts and have not had as much time as usual to co-complete holiday shopping. I have purchased and organized all the presents for my children, husband, and each of our in-laws, etc. However, have not bought stocking stuffers. My husband has decreased hours around the holidays, and I asked if he could please go buy the stocking gifts. These were all organized, and he just needed to pick them up from their respective stores, as I didn't want to risk them not arriving in time if I was to order online. Oh, my God. They're already done. All he has to do is pick it up. Mm -hmm. um, Whoa. I made time to go after a long shift to buy the gifts for my husband's stocking as it to not spoil a surprise. It is also important to note that each year I have bought my own stocking stuffers. Otherwise, it would be empty as it is not oh, really my oh husband's my thing. This is so sad. You know what? It's too true. I know it Ask is. Ask your mom if she stuffed her own stocking. Yes. That is... Ugh. I know she did. I know she I did. Know. In the yeah. list I gave him... I had my name written and a list of possible ideas for my gift. Oh my God, she already did all like the mental work. Ugh. When I got home from work last night, he told me that my, that my joke was pretty funny. <gasps> Divorce. <laughs> Divorce. He's Send him the papers. <laughs> I asked what he was talking about and he said that it's not like I actually thought he would be filling my stocking as I am a grown woman and can get over myself. And he's uh -oh. never done it before. So why sh should he do it now? Because she's going to murder you. I know. <laughs> and she'll get away with it. This is so <laughs> Not a jury of her sad. peers would never convict her for that. Yeah. Becky. <laughs> 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 <Becky. laughs> <Becky. laughs> I was extremely tired after a very long shift and admittedly blew up at him, to which he was in tears laughing. <gasps> oh, that's disrespectful. Kill him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my is, gosh. The bar is so in low. Hell. He asked how he could be, how I could be serious about this, and he truly thought this was some big elaborate joke. <gasps> I know that I could easily just buy my own things, but honestly, I'm quite fed up, so I think this is the hill that I will die on. When I expressed this frustration and disappointment to him this morning, he said I was an asshole for, for asking that much uh, from him, and it was so unreasonable, and I was being childish. Kill him. I think kill him. I would put <laughs> coal in his stocking. <laughs> And make him open the stocking uh -huh. in front of the family and children oh, and say, yeah. you, you got been cold naughty. because you did not contribute I would wrap it. to this experience. I would wrap it so it looked like a real present mm -hmm. and it yeah. would be cool. Mm -hmm. And like maybe each dog family poop. member did this person did uh -huh. this, this, you did nothing. nothing. Yeah. So you get cold. cold. Santa left you cold. <laughs> <laughs> Shame. And Rudolph, don't forget Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, Rudolph left you turds. <laughs> he left you little reindeer turds. Yeah. 
So am I the asshole because I completely understand that my blowing up at him was an overreaction, but I still think the actual situation was valid. You absolutely, the no, situation was valid. It was valid. You are not overreacting. I think, yeah. I think you should blow up more. I think you should blow up I don't think it was enough. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he should be more understanding because she's super stressed with work, right? Like right. that's not being a very supportive yeah. partner. Yeah. By laughing at her for doing all this work and then she has a blow up. Yeah. You can't laugh at her for blowing up. Obviously she's going to blow up. Yeah. You know? I feel like she clearly does a lot of the heavy lifting within the household and deserves some sort of little appreciation. And a little stocking stuffer is not much to ask for. And if you already no. chose it out, like I feel like I could ask like a coworker to pick something up. Uh -huh. yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's like such a small thing. Yeah. yeah. Coal. It's like a Cole. husband can't even do it. The I hope she put coal. I put. I hope she put coal in his stocking. hundred percent. I hope she put some coal and reindeer turds. Yeah, because <laughs> also if that's how he acts about filling yeah. your stuffing, like I don't want to know what else he's. Yeah. What else your home life looks like? I can't believe Something. he's like trying to twist it when she's done all. Yeah. The he's it's brainstorming and yeah. he's super manipulative. Yeah. yeah. Also, if when you're mad and somebody laughs, it's like I can't. I like no. it's like the worst. It's the meanest oh, thing you can do. Yeah, a little smirk cruel. while you're like upset. Oh, it's the worst. Also, this made me sad for all the moms out there that have to stuff their own stocking, which is like, I mean, I now I feel guilty, but I didn't oh. know when I was a child. But yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. I thought Santa was real. I thought well, Santa. Was next stuffing year, her, her stocking. <laughs> next year, you're gonna be stuffing Magali's stocking. Okay, I did stuff her stocking this year, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I also think like even early on in it, she was like, "Well, I pick out the presents because I'm home more and I know what they like." He's a dad; mm -hmm. he yeah. knows what they like. They should all know. They yeah. should. Everyone should know. Yeah, and if everyone he doesn't know, know, then he can spend some time trying to probe and figure it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, or. For her stocking, she could like get herself like two week vacation alone <laughs> without him, you know, and be like, oh, look what Santa brought me. She pulls it out. Oh, two <laughs> weeks alone in Bermuda? Thanks. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you, I Santa. I wait for this trip. Uh, and the husband I charge has to be there his with credit card. Be like, thank you yeah. so much. Alone. You'll see it on the next statement. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this husband slash father is probably one of those dads who says he's babysitting his kids. Yeah. <laughs> when mm -hmm. he's home. <sighs> I remember I was getting, my parents are in town and I was getting a manicure mm -hmm. and my manicurist was like, oh, who's with your baby? I'm like, what do you mean who's with my baby? He's with his dad. <laughs> 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 I mean, You're I guess like, then, I guess it's like, more what like, baby? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's more like oh, the shoot. assumption, maybe she was trying to be nice and didn't know if he had a dad in the picture. Mm. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'm the asshole. Maybe I answered that. that for myself. You can't assume, Becky. Wait, I am the asshole. <laughs> there are many different types of family structures. There are Becky. many different types of families. You know, right. some people, some mermaids don't have arms. <laughs> yeah. We learned a valu very valuable lesson on That's Halloween. True. So we had this mermaid skeleton, and she didn't have an arm. And Matt's oh. sister was over with her daughter, and she said that the skeleton was weird. And I was like, well, it's not weird. Some mermaids don't have arms. And some, people she, some people, and I was like, just like, you know, some people have arms just because we have arms doesn't mean everyone has arms. Yeah. And then she, one of her dollies broke and she said it was okay because some dollies don't have arms. Oh, <laughs> it was cute. It was a good learning moment. Yeah. That's oh, so that, cute. That's okay. That's sometimes happens. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. Some, yeah, some people don't have arms. Some people don't have arms. Wow. Some dollies don't have arms. Some mermaids don't have arms. Yeah. yeah. What a great lesson. <laughs> Life lessons. <laughs> The Something Halloween we decorations. all need to remember. Yeah. The Halloween decorations can teach a great lesson. Yeah. yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think this lady's an asshole at all. I think her husband's an asshole. <sighs> yeah. yeah he's definitely the husband. And he should have a warm pillow for the rest of his life. Mm. I hope he gets overheated while he sleeps. I hope his water is always room temperature. <laughs> Maggie's favorite. <laughs> I do like warm temperature water always. <laughs> it's easier to drink. I agree, actually. I yeah. also like a room temp. Yeah. I love a room yeah. temp water. I feel like I'm dehydrated. Like I hate going to a restaurant and they give you ice water because I can barely, I'm, I run it, cold. I run yeah. cold. So then I don't drink enough water mm -hmm. and then I'm dehydrated. Kind of makes your head hurt a little too. Kind of makes my tummy yeah. hurt too. <laughs> I feel like it cramps it up in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Yeah. I get that. Unless I'm like in a hot, sweaty Workout. Oh, That's yeah. That's the only time I'll drink cold water. Yeah. Mm. I get the appeal of cold water if you're a cold water girl. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, I've always been room temp. Room temp. Look, I'm opposite, to love I like work. regular water when I'm working out, like room temperature. Room temp? Because it's mm -hmm. easier to drink mm. when you're like, you know, I feel like sweaty I and like pant, uh, panting I pant and a lot. stuff. 
But then like every day I'd, I need my pebble ice, ice water. <gasps> I need mostly ice. I need my Ooh. pebble ice water. Pebble you do pebble ice. ice? I love pebble ice. Do you have ice. a, a, a special pebble ice machine? Pebble he has a maker. Oh. I do. It's the best thing. I, every single day I use it. I feel Probably like the I'm one appliance sonic. in my house I use every <laughs> single day. I've been holding off getting a pebble ice machine, but I do like pebble ice. Upgrade. Upgrade? Upgrade your life. life. Just go to Matt's and steal it. I know. I'm going to go to yours and steal it. I, I only have so much room on my counter space for all the all the different things. Get put it outside. One. Yeah, put it in your, <gasps> That's your what patio space. Oh, patio kitchen. Outdoors. I didn't even think about That's that. Mine. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So our advice to this woman, put coal in a stocking. Coal. Coal in a stocking. You're not an asshole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not an asshole. Mm-hmm. Santa's skipping his bag this year. I know. It's crazy. She should assign him one year and be like, okay, you're in charge of all the gifts then because I've done it yeah. for decades. It's your turn now. Yeah. See how yeah, you like it. Yeah, but a mom won't do it. A mom won't. Because then it's going to yeah. affect, it affects the, the kids. kids and they don't, they don't deserve that. Yeah. Those trash gifts no. that he's going to mm-hmm. half-ass and not think mm-hmm. no. deeply about. I feel like it's the tip of the iceberg. There's probably like some deep-rooted oh, yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seems like he's not pulling his weight a lot. No. And if your husband's going to laugh at you when you're upset, yeah. that's Mean. red flag. Yeah. Me. Bad. Red flag. All right. Next one. I, 19 female, recently got a tattoo on the back of my upper arm around six ish centimeters in length. Yeah, girl. Is her name, I was what say, Becky? Is it? Is it, is I it wrote this. <laughs> I wrote this. <laughs> I wrote in. It's me. <laughs> For context, I live with my parents and I go to uni full time. I also work around 25 hours every week. I don't pay rent, but I use my own money for essentially everything else. To add, this is very normal from where where I'm from. I know a lot of people in this sub are from the States where there's a strong push for being out of the house by 18, but that's practically unheard of here unless you have rich parents who can support you to do so. You cannot attend uni and rent in my city um, for it's so unaffordable. Um... Basically, I knew my parents didn't like tattoos, but I really wanted one and thought they'd be a little upset, but get over it after a few days. My dad did just that. He told me he hates it and then moved on straight away. My mom, on the other hand, has reacted horribly. She did not speak to me at all for the first two weeks, like refused (laughs) to look at me. Two weeks is a long time. That's a long time. (laughs) And now it's been about a month. She's speaking, but does not want me to be around anyone she knows without covering my arm. When people come over to to the house, I have to cover my arm. When I go out to local shopping centers where I might run into people she knows, at a wedding, I'm going to soon, etc. She's saying all this because she's terrified of people gossiping about her. Every time I bring it up, she says stuff like, I don't want to hear it from everyone. They're all going to talk about it. This is probably partially true, definitely not to the extent she thinks it's going to be. Literally no one cares that much about me, but I do come from a super (laughs) judgmental family who will definitely think it's stupid and make comments about it to me. My mom, for some reason, thinks they'll think she's a bad parent or something, question mark. Not sure, but she clearly thinks it's on her for some reason. Mm. Now, I'm not totally opposed to covering up. However, it's the middle of the summer right now, and it's like 36 degrees Celsius, which is hot, almost every day, so it's super impractical. The biggest thing, though, is more about how terrible it makes me feel. I know it's like irrational or whatever, but having to cover up makes me feel like I'm this disgusting person who shouldn't be around people, and I hate it. This tattoo is a part of me, and it's shitty that the part of me is so terrible, and I can't let people see it. The people she's trying to impress, all my extended family, are not particularly great people. Super racist, super homophobic, and I don't respect or care about what they think of me. So I don't care if they talk shit about it. I've kind of stuck to my gun here, and I told her I'm not doing that, and she's going to accept me for it. However, every single conversation we're having now is just a never-ending argument. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm the asshole, but she keeps saying stuff like, that's the rule when you live with me, although she's... Still would want me to cover up around her family if I did move out. Any external opinion <laughs> could help. Ooh. So what is the tattoo of? I want to know. Is it like a penis? That's what I was saying. Is it like crazy or what is it just is it? like yeah. cats? You know? Because <laughs> I feel like that's different. Yeah. Yeah, is it the fact that it's a tattoo or is it of something? I feel like it, which it's, I feel like, it's like it must be just a tattoo. It's butterflies. 
Yeah. Okay, stop listing all my tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough with you. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Don't I feel you like want it's a- people to talk about you. You know what I mean? <gasps> Great oh. point, Matt. Right? Like at least they're talking about you. At least, you know, you'll be the talk of the town. Yeah. yeah. The mom should like kind of revel in it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, at least my daughter is doing something. What's yeah. your daughter doing? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about your daughter. She's spin boring. it, spin, spin yeah. it around, mom. Spin, spin it. it around. I know. Yeah. It seems like her mom's too focused on image. And it, I don't even think it would matter what the tattoo would it's be. It's very of. old school. It's very, yeah. Very right. old school. And I'm also like, who cares about impressing idiots? I yeah. know. She's like, they're racist and homophobic. I'm like, I mean, who cares what they think? Yeah. It yeah. seems like the daughter's like, does not care what people think. So this no. is like, her this is a part of her she's comfortable with it so why is mom projecting she doesn't even care if her mom doesn't like it it's just that the mom is making life at home hard Mm -hmm. right that's like the crux of the issue yeah Yeah. and it's unfair she's like even if you didn't live with me you would i have these rules Mm -hmm. i don't think she's an asshole no i think her mom needs more time even though it's been a very very long time i think she just needs to yeah sit in her own issues with it and kind of process it on her own. Cause I don't think anything the daughter says or do, does will change the fact that she has a tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. You can I don't only think change her perception. Asshole, but I think she's acting like an asshole. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I think she has something. She's, there's something going on with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Like why is this tattoo about you? Right. She's seeing it as like a moral failing as a mother because your child got a tattoo. And it's like, but your child is a 19 year old person. Right. Right. Adult. Yeah. An adult now. As yeah. someone whose parents did not like any of my tattoos, <laughs> they were like, well, what are you going to do one day if Henny gets a tattoo? And I'm like, live, laugh, love. <laughs> I mean, one, it would be hypocritical of me to say, don't get a tattoo. Yeah. I mean, I'll definitely show him my butterflies and be like, I got this when I was 18. Not my favorite tattoo. Take yeah. that information with what you will. Just think about it. Think about it. Yeah, I would say, it. yeah. Yeah. If you want to think about it. You want it? Get it. Think about if it. If you want it, get it. You have your own money. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Like, live your life. When have you got a face tattoo? <gasps> a face tattoo would be really hard for me to accept. <laughs> <laughs> I and love when, how you're like, yeah, <laughs> live, live, laugh, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like face tattoo. And then well, you turn into this mom. Well, because, <laughs> <laughs> because it's live, laugh, love, I would then look inward and go, what did I do to raise someone who thinks a face tattoo is a beautiful expression of themselves? That's what (laughs) this mother is thinking. (laughs) What did I? (laughs) I'll write in later on. (laughs) And he's got, you know, a star somewhere. Where's the line? Oh, my God. Mine would be the face. The face would be the one that I'd be like. What about neck? Henners. Like a neck sleeve. I mean, I feel like it would hurt really bad. Like, I would mostly be like, Henny, it's really going to (laughs) hurt. (laughs) <laughs> I'm really not going to feel good. But if that's what you need to feel like your beautiful, unique self, go for it. Mm. Go for it's it. It's not on the face. Just not on Well, his face can be beautiful. It's already beautiful. It's already beautiful. It's so beautiful. What, <sighs> why would he need an adornment? <laughs> an adornment. You know. Use henna. <laughs> oh, henny and henna. Henny, henny. He would love it. Henna, the, henny, the henna. <laughs> he would love it. Henny, henny. Yeah, I think this mom needs to like let go of the control she thinks she has mm-hmm. over. Because yeah. I'm like, you could go my route and just hide it from your parents for years. But yeah. this child decided to. Oh, wait, I have an update on that. Okay. On my hidden tattoo. So oh. this was unknown to the mm. world before. Whoa. And unknown you to my parents. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I was not the first Miller child to get a tattoo. <gasps> what? <gasps> Kim got one? <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother Stop. has m- more and bigger tattoos than I have. What? Really? But I have never, I kept that secret even when they found out about mine. Wow. And they were like, Michael would never get a tattoo. <gasps> and I was like, so like, oh, holding my tongue being like, <laughs> oh, if only you knew. For my wedding. What a good sister. For my wedding, I let him wear sweatpants to cover one of his tattoos for the getting ready pictures. Oh, my God. I am an angel. 
<laughs> and then Wait, Michael, so how do they find out? So he posted a picture out? and you could see a tiny <gasps> bit oh! of his tattoo peeking out of the side. Stop. And your parents were like, And yeah, what is and that? my mom was like, I don't know if I should be horrified that you two could keep the secret between <laughs> yourselves or like proud that you <laughs> did all that. Wow. <laughs> And you never yeah. even told any of us because we could have let it wow. slip. What a good sister. I You're a good sister. Was a good little sister. I said not a word. Yeah. Wow. That's not impressive. A That's a feat. Word. As you're getting in trouble to not throw your siblings under the bus. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I know. I'm a I'm star. proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so they weren't yeah. mad about the tattoo then? No. No. I mean, they weren't mad about my tattoo either. They were just like, I don't know why you felt the need to hide it. And I was like, oh, because I bought it with your money and I knew you wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it with your money. Because I was not like this child. <laughs> <laughs> I was living with my parents. <laughs> right. Wow. Whoa. What yeah. did your parents do when they found out about your brothers? They were just like, well, I mean, he's a grown up. He's, yeah, you know, now he's, he's like, like fully, Yeah. <laughs> How many does he have? He has a lot. He has oh, more. Really? He gets them when he like travels. Oh, okay. So he likes to get them in like other countries and stuff too. Mm. I see. Okay. I don't know. I don't look. So at did his your body. mom like <laughs> rip off his shirt and be like, "Show me them all"? <gasps> I don't think so. <laughs> has she seen them in the flesh? I think she was just like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> so so like he right came to them yeah. <laughs> and was like, "Hi." No, my mom was like, "Is this a tattoo?" Oh, okay. <laughs> like zoomed in on the picture. That's so funny. And he was like, "Duh." Cross yeah. it. I, I broke the I, since I was. 16, yeah. mom. <laughs> Not that young, but I broke the seal for them. So they were a little less. They you were did more, the hard work. Yeah, more horrified that we wow. could keep a secret and also proud that we could keep a secret. <laughs> so good. Wow. A little bit of both. Mm-hmm. So I would say that mom should take comfort in the fact that her kid told her about it. Yeah. That's true. She yeah, could have. And bought it with her own money. Hit it for a very, very long time. Yeah. I think this girl just needs to find a way to talk to her mom about other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like maybe deflect to the mall somehow. I don't know how. Mm. We're talking about what. Yeah. But find some kind of like mitigation so that they're not always talking about that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe talk to your dad too. Yeah. Cause it seemed like he like got over it pretty quick and be like, hey. Yeah. Can you kind of be my cheerleader with mom? She's really yeah. straining our relationship over yeah. something that to me is not that big of a deal. Yeah. yeah. How do I handle it? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. what's her. What it, like what she's not like way past a murderer. It. Yeah, she's just got a tattoo. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's your compromise. Kid being a murderer would there's be compromise worse. somewhere. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when you move out, I mean, yellow. Then get your yeah. face tattoo. Then get your face tattoo. Get your face tat. <laughs> get your neck sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> get your butt tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my fiance, twenty eight, and I, male thirty, have been together for five years. Every relationship has good times as well as the occasional turbulence. We had a pretty traditional, we had been a pretty traditional couple where she was a stay at home and take care of the household stuff and I work and take care of the financials and everything else. I paid off her car. I pay her insurance. Anytime she needs money, if she asks for 50, I give her 200 because I appreciate her and I want her to know I am a provider and up for that role. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. feels a little controlling. Should not have a bank account. <laughs> yeah. Recently, she graduated college in the medical field as a nurse, and she got a job. I'm extremely happy for her as she's doing something she loves and is interested in. She works every day, and she loves it. Here's the but. She works every day, and now she's tired. The laundry isn't getting done, and the cleaning oh. isn't getting done either. I propose that she hire a maid to help her with this stuff, someone who could help do the cleaning. She works. She gets paid, but she doesn't spend the money. She called me an asshole because she thinks that I'm calling her useless. That's not the case. She always She's always tired and always complains about it. I'm also always tired, but this is the first time that I brought it up. Am I the asshole for telling her to hire some help since she's too tired to do it? Kind of. I don't think so. I don't I'm, I'm too sided. I don't think you should say you should hire a maid. I think you I, should say we, we should, should hire, should hire a, maid. a maid. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. where I think he's being an asshole in the way yeah. he's talking about it. Yeah. yeah. But I think if you can pay for it, if you can afford that, do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it shouldn't be because she's life, tired. So it should be because you're both tired yeah. Yeah. or because you're both not doing the housework, not right. because she's not doing the housework. Exactly. Yeah. Agreed. And it's like maybe wrong to assume because you both have jobs that she is the sole provider of the house. Right. Like you both live in the mm-hmm. house together and you guys yeah. should both see that role as. Yeah. Because there's a big shift. Cause that was her job yeah. before. And now mm-hmm. that's no longer her job. 
Yeah. So it's both their responsibilities. Mm Mm-hmm. And they're both kind of not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you should give her her own bank account. Yeah. Yeah. For all this money she's making as nurse. <laughs> she seems like she would have to well, have yeah. her own bank account. Why is, she, why is she asking you for $50? Well, maybe before. I mean, maybe it's like a cash thing. Yeah. I know Keith always has cash. So I'm like, can I have 20 bucks? <laughs> no, here's 200. <laughs> I feel like Keith would not. He's like, you get 1995. <laughs> He's like, you are a good good wife today. In quarters. <laughs> oh, no. no, maybe that's what she meant. Like, it's like a cash yeah. thing, so I don't have to go to the bank. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I, but I don't think anyone's an asshole. Sinister as we thought. <laughs> no one's an asshole. Maybe there's some asshole behavior going on. Yeah. But. Yeah. I think he just needs to talk about it in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Reframe the conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Use more we, less you. Yeah. I mean, it's a start that he's like, okay, how can we support you in this new role that you're having? Right. But we could use some more. Yeah. Some more. I mean, there's ways to frame the situation too. Just being like, I want us to be able to spend more time together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're both so tired from work. It's hard. I don't want to spend all my time doing laundry with you. Right. Yeah. Let's get it made. Like that's something fun. I would be like, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. That's amazing. That sounds great. <laughs> let's get a chef. Let's get a <laughs> right? let's keep listing them. Uh, I know. Yeah. 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 That's tough. I, it just sounds like a framing, a framing issue. Mm-hmm. He's like, this is a p- problem she's having. Let me help her fix it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking about more as how can he fix this instead of. Right. How can we? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. He is asking for help, you know, asking for advice because he doesn't want to make her feel yeah, bad. It true. sounds like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's not putting her in a place where it's like, well, this is your role and you're not right. meeting that. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Whereas he's trying to find her more support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Find them more support. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Honestly, it kind of gave me partner. serial killer vibes when Maggie was yeah. first reading it. Like something about the way he was like writing. <laughs> oh, <no>. oh <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Right? It was kind of like inky. I don't know what yeah. it was. There's some like Joe from uh, you vibe. Was it the mm-hmm. money thing? It was the I money, mean, the money thing. thing for sure. But then <laughs> there was just like, yeah, it was just something about it. Also, I haven't, I don't really hear people refer, um, I don't, uh, maid? I don't hear that that often. Yeah. 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 It's more like housekeeper. Yeah. yeah. Cleaning, Cleaning lady. Cleaning yeah. person, yeah. Okay. Here we are on the next one. A bit of a backstory. I, 32 female, have a chronic eczema, which isn't really severe. I was passed <clears throat> genetically from my mom and my grandma. It causes me itchiness all over my body and scalp. Oh, bubba. I know. I feel that. Um, I have three kids, Sarah, four-year-old female, Andrew, six-month-old, and Nicole, 11-year-old female, with my wonderful husband, Jake, 35 male. I have a... L- We're going to be able to write their Christmas cards. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little under the... I have little under the waist long hair. My hair is very well maintained, but due to my eczema, it can sometimes have a little white particles from my scalp. I also have a mm-hmm. lot of scalp wounds and peeling if you look directly Ouch. at it. Oh. Ouchie. Like I feel hurts. that. I know. Yeah. I have Ouchie. navy pillowcases, and this month, like, I'll wake up, and it's just, like, covered in no. snow. Ouchie. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, you can't really see anything. Ten months ago, my good friend Lisa, 29-year-old female, got engaged, and she asked me if I wanted to be a bridesmaid, and I accepted <laughs> The wedding was supposed to be in less than a month and everyone was super excited, but it got called off because of me. What? The wedding? Oh my God. What? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> From her eczema got the wedding called off. Eczema, bridesmaid, canceled. <laughs> the husband what? was suckling the eczema. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> when I was first asked to be a bridesmaid, what? my friend was very kind to me, but she started to have their higher demands for me. She was making us all dye our hair blonde. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, Can you ma- again, wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's always Solve. suggesting wig. Why That's not a wig? I don't, wig. I don't understand why people don't want wigs. Yeah. They yeah. could look great. You know, <laughs> I oh I was like, is everyone in this group like dirty blonde? I have questions. Was she the only not yeah, blonde she like, one? Is she like upkeep your highlight? Yeah, mm. I with jet black hair refused because it would damage my hair too much. Yeah, understandable. After a month, a month after that, she made me lose ten kilograms. Oh 
which is like pink helo over 20 pounds. That's like 22 oh pounds. God. Yeah. Because according to her, everyone else was 50 kilos. And since I was 60 kilos, we wouldn't look symmetrical. Oh my gosh. This is scary. I would have self Talk about serial, out. serial killer vibes. Yeah. I know. I would have opted out. I would have exited. Yeah. I would have yeah, exited the out. chat. Crazy. She made us all buy a dress that cost 500 euros each. Oh my God. When I told my mom that, she told me that it was too expensive for a dress. The last straw was when she asked me last week to take care of my quote unquote problem because she doesn't want people to ask me why me and my daughter, my oldest got it from me, have dandruff in our hair. I probably would have accepted it if she said it to only me, but I couldn't accept it for my daughter. We had a very big fight. Yeah. And I backed out from coming to the wedding in general. Oh, so the wedding still happened. She just didn't go. Oh, good. Wait, I don't know. Hold on. Let's finish it. Because I think from my my friends say that I shouldn't have been so harsh. And I feel (gasps) bad now because the wedding was canceled because of me. So am I the asshole? And here's some edit. So I think she added more. If anyone is asking, I have neurodermatitis, which is something like seboric dermatitis, but on the entire body. That is not the question we were looking for an answer to. Uh Uh-uh. Okay. One a bridesmaid not being there just shouldn't cancel a full. That's wedding. what yeah, I that's have a question. To of. Cancel a wedding and not reschedule is also yeah. <laughs> this this woman uh, bridezilla, my goodness, all symmetrical, uh, bleach blonde hair. Uh, you know what this sounds like? Extreme diets. If it's important for this woman to have this, it's called Photoshop. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? AI, some, this girl can't show up. Okay, AI, a fake bridesmaid in there. Hey, actually, you know what? Um, Sheena Shea got married from Vanderpump Rules, and uh, Rachel, Raquel, was in the wedding party, and she put Lala's face over Whoa. Raquel's face. Wow. Mm-hmm. AI, AI it up. Uh-huh. Was that important to her? This girl dropped out. AI, someone in there. I'm also like, this girl's not your friend. Your friends aren't your friends. You need new friends. Yeah. yeah. If your friend's... Asking you to change everything about yeah. you that makes you you, then they're not your friends. You're saying, yeah. yeah, twenty-two pounds, insane. That's black hair to blonde hair, insane. insane. And then asking you to take care of your medical situation. issue that you're already struggling with, you're trying yeah. to take care of it. Obviously, yeah. if she could choose to not have, she's insane. D- dermatitis, she would. Is she's insane. crazy. I really want to know why the wedding was canceled, though. Yeah, Go- give a Google and see if there are any yeah, new yeah. edits. Oh. I mean, that'd be a great, um, like, stand-up comedian, like, joke to start with. Be like, <laughs> so a, one of my friend's weddings was canceled this week because of my eczema. <laughs> I love your delivery. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, I feel like that would be a really good bit. That would be a good start. They People would be, give. like, shocked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. It honestly seems, like, fake. Like, it seems fake. Yeah. Ass, if it seems made up. It was, mm-hmm. like, so crazy. I was, like... Yeah. Is there something missing? Uh-huh. Like, is there a, another side to this story? And I love that's the like, edit of like, this is the type of eczema I have. I'm like, <laughs> bitch, I do not need to know about your eczema right now. I need to, I have eight more questions no. about yeah. that wedding. Yeah. The only <sighs> thing I could imagine <laughs> is like, she has such, she has like control issues. So when something went awry, she was like, I'm out altogether. That's what I was thinking. I was like, even if the wedding did yeah. go on and this girl did all this stuff. She probably, if anything went wrong at the wedding, yeah. she was going to blame this girl. 100%. I feel like she's It's blamed. your fault because 100%. you weren't skinny enough, because you aren't blonde enough, because you yeah. have too much skin turnover. But I still you know? feel <laughs> like she is doing that. In Like, she's not disclosing why the wedding was actually... Yeah. She can't blame it on a bridesmaid. So she was going to do that no matter what. She was going to say, <gasps> you backed out and you're the reason this wedding's canceled. Yeah, she's going to blame it. As yeah. if it but like, went... like, say it out loud. Like, that's crazy. Like, yeah. how crazy. could anyone around her hear that and be like... Mm-hmm. You were, you really should have gotten to the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. The person who wrote Jessica. in should not feel any sort of guilt. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. no. At all. Was there an update? No. That was the last update. Mm-hmm. Last we heard from her. And Damn. I love how the mom <laughs> straw was like, ooh, the dress is too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's I do too like expensive. that. Her mom was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> the dress is too much. You're going blonde? Love it. <laughs> love it. Dress? No. No. That's where we draw the line. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's that's excessive. That's mm-mm, mm-mm. maybe Out weddings are different in Europe. You must lose twenty five pounds to oh, be in my different. wedding party. Thanks. I would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is physically impossible. I'm like, I'd rather be a guest. <laughs>
I want Matt to go on a reality show really bad now. <laughs> Which I, one? Yeah. I really do believe that a second try should pivot. It's a reality show. <laughs> to reality? Yes. Yeah. I'm just in. following Matt around. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogging. Um, I think that's called stalking. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Rainy. You want him stalking. to be like, what kind of reality yeah. show? Like... I, I've switched now to vlogging. I love that. I love like a day in the life with Matt every day. Like he wakes up and is like, hey, fam. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, fam. It's like my nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> there's money in that for oh, sure. My God, there's for sure money. I watched this um, girl. I know we don't have much time left um, to pivot a little bit, but this girl does deep dives on like pop culture things on TikTok. Uh-huh. And she did one on Jason Nash from the Vlog Squad. Whoa, forgot about him. Yep. I know. Well, he's doing right now on like TikTok doing these things called battles, which I didn't even really know what they are, but it's literally just like begging your followers for like money and gifts. And whoever gets the most money and gifts mm-hmm. wins. Is this via live or is it on just... lives? Oh. Yes. Whoa. And I was like, how much, one, how much money are you making doing that? Because that yeah. seems like not an easy way or a successful way to make money. Yeah. And then two, why? Like, why? Mm. Why are people giving are gifts? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, why are people giving him gifts? Why are his fans? <clears throat> yeah, but he like doesn't really do anything. You know what I mean? Zach was scrolling through TikTok one time and he like came across something he was trying to tell me, and I don't remember the exact thing, but it was like a woman saying like different phrases that like did not make sense. And Zach was like, she's just basically saying things based on what gift she's getting. <gasps> oh, it's what AI. is that? It's like it's AI. Cock off. Yeah, Fuck off. and I was he like, showed me one of those. And before. I was like, "What is going on?" They make a lot of money. They're mm. pretending to be like an not an AI, but like they're pretending sim. to be a sim. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've also Wild. seen those. And I was so confused. I was so confused. Yeah. I'm like, what? Uh, I don't. What's uh, going on? Why? <laughs> what <is happening? laughs> yeah. Why are people on this? <laughs> I have thought yeah. about having like a, starting a Patreon and having like, okay, for three dollars a month, you can be my close friends on Instagram. <laughs> mm. Mm. Rainy, you're starting new ventures this year. I'm obsessed with that. I am like, absolutely money on the table. obsessed with that. Three dollars a month, you can see my close friends. Oh my god! You can see what my real life is like. Yeah, the more unhinged, even oh, more so. The my more god. Unhinged. Wow, I love. I feel like that'd be a good um, charity auction. Item. Oh yeah! Like That's if the really try guys good. did like a charity auction, that would be like <laughs> for for X amount of money, you get access to a close friend story. How much? What would you cap it at, Rainy? Oh, you're like making million. nine dollars a month. A million, <laughs> <laughs> a million users or a million dollars? Oh, I see <laughs> what you're asking because then it's like then it's not close friends anymore, right? Oh, I feel like anybody who wants to join. <laughs> as long as, yeah. You Anyone to, can be your close friend yeah. <laughs> for $3 a month. I love that. I also love that you don't have to do any additional work on Patreon. Right. For it. No, it's a blank page. Like, it's a blank page with nothing. There's no Discord, no chat, no nothing. It's just you pay the money and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden. And put your thing in the put chat. Put your handle. <laughs> And then they're like, all right. And you're in. What would you how would you feel if I was screenshotting them all and being that like, if you problem. follow me, I'll charge you two dollars a month. Oh, and I'll, uh, I'll say arbitrage. <laughs> oh my god, oh she's my like god. what's the word where it's like she's um, snaking you? Uh it, you can't have control over. I'll like, make the a whole. fan account. <laughs> Rainy fans. Rainy, Rainy fans. fans. Rainy fans. Rain on me Rainy fan 101. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. Then you could get hired by Rainy's Patreon with all the money she makes from right. it. That's right. To right. work and kind of do like the second try. My the, first employee. Matthew. Yeah. Fan cam. Fan cam yeah. Rainy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Full circle. Yeah. I'm going to steal all your potential websites tonight <laughs> just so you can't get them. Exactly. You have to buy them back from me. That's right. <laughs> She's going to go down. Twitter handle. <laughs> Maggie's just the, the troll. <laughs> <laughs> all the email addresses. I'll be thinking of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love the idea that Maggie has like a secret troll account that she goes on and just like, yeah. It's like I'm a, like an incel. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she's obsessed with troll. <gasps> No. <laughs> <laughs> that one cut too close. No. Yeah. No. Love me trolls. 
Well, <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening to uh, this week's episode of You Can Sit With Us. We want to remind you to uh, wash your hands, pee after sex, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, um, register to vote, get vaccinated, cover cover your mouth and wash your hands after you sneeze. <laughs> what else we got? I don't know. That one's a new one. I like <laughs> when it, you though. were saying cover your mouth, but you had yeah. it kind of by your nipples. I was like, wait, what are we going, going back on sharing the nipples? <laughs> Not <laughs> free the nipples. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.